play that ball. Oh, that was Come good. on, group, quit fooling with it. You got it. Okay, okay. I just want to get a chop so I don't miss any of the ball scores. Hey, here it is. Good evening, all you brave American fighting men in the South. Pacific. Hiya, baby. Oh, good old Madam Butterfly. How's everything at Tojo Land, sweetie? <laughs> this is Nippon Nancy once again. Mike's side with your favorite recordings and news from the home front. First of all, you Brooklyn boys, the Dodgers defeated the Giants 5 to 2. Ah! Oh, 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 Give me some cards here. Come on. Too bad none of you will get to see the World Series. But yours is not to reason why. Yours is but to do and die <laughs> but now on to more pleasant things how about a musical selection for you navy boys out there on taratupa go 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 it's a little dull there now is it well it might get pretty hot before we're through with you but then we don't want to upset captain binghamton now do we we all know his indigestion is bad enough already. She's picking on Binghamton again. <laughs> all right, store it, store it. We're missing it. Come on. Are you men on Taratupa amazed to learn how much information we have about you? If you had any idea how much we really knew, it'd make your hair stand on end. That I'd like to see. <laughs> that I intend to be chewed out because of a Japanese blabbermouth. There is an enemy espionage agent on this base, and I intend to find out who he is. This isn't the first time that this uh, Yokohama Yetta, or whatever she calls herself, has taken a shot at me. Uh, nip on Nancy, sir. Oh, shut up. I know what she calls herself. <laughs> if she knows so much about what is going on in my insides, then it's feasible that she knows how many ships and guns that we've got here. Now, gentlemen, that is your assignment. Get on the ball, find this leak, and plug it, and get out of here, and that's an order, and dismissed. Quick, Hale. Sir. Hey, wait a minute. Yes, sir. Captain, uh, maybe those fortune cookies are what's knocking out your stomach, sir. Oh, don't be silly. My wife sends these to me from our favorite restaurant. I've been eating these for years. <laughs> I didn't invite you to stay to have a cookie clatch. Oh. Well, Mikhail, you and I know that you command the biggest bunch of thieves in the Navy. Now, isn't it just possible that one of them to uh, pick up a little loose change might be peddling tidbits of information to Tokyo? Hmm? Now, just a second, Captain. Maybe my boys ain't exactly all spit and polish all the time, but every one of them is a loyal, true blue American. All right, Mikhail. All right, keep your shirt on. Torn as it is. <laughs> I think you'll admit that you do have a rather strange bunch of natives and whatnots popping in and out of that place of yours over there. Now, don't you think maybe one of them has a little drop of Japanese blood in him somewhere along the line there? Captain, I assure you that there isn't a drop of Japanese blood within 500 miles of my base. Why, every time that I... What is it? Bye-bye. 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 Nothing, sir. I was just thinking about something else. Oh, Mikhail. I am not as well a man as I would like to be. My blood pressure has shot up to 174. Now, I insist that you tell no, me. No, 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 Captain. Look, I, I promise you that I'll make a thorough security check on my island. Uh, I give you my word as an officer and a gentleman. Well, that's two counts you miss on right there. <laughs> but I'll have to settle. Dismiss. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, and uh, thanks for the cookie. Huh? <laughs> thanks for the cookie. Oh, get away for the weekend. <laughs> Same. Besides, it can't be Fuji, even if he is Japanese. No, nah, he'd never be a spy. He's our pal. Yeah, you never can't tell, though, Tim. Shh, shh. Go 
Good morning, gentlemen. Morning, coach. Good morning. Lovely day. Brunch will be ready in 15 minutes. Thanks, Virg. Frankly, I don't know what to think. Well, as far as I'm concerned, Fuji may be Japanese, but I think he's a nice guy. Hey, I got it all figured out, Skip. Fuji couldn't possibly be a Japanese spy. Why not? Because he looks like a Japanese spy. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I've seen a lot of those spy movies, and the guilty guy is always somebody you'd never suspect. Now, if we had a butler, then he'd have to work. Hey, a houseboy is just like a butler. Uh, I don't buy it. Personally, I think Fuji's a 100% loyal deserter. Besides, there's no way for him to get messages out. Skip, they're right. Now, Fuji couldn't do anything okay, like that. Okay, okay. Haul it, you guys. Now, look, I agree with all you fellas. Fuji's a great guy, and we trust him. But just the same, I think we better keep our eyes open. <laughs> My dear pumpkin. Little do you realize what a weight your teddy bear carries on his shoulders. You know that I'm not a complaining man. But wait until you hear what happened to me yesterday. Oh, excuse me, pumpkin. Hello again, American fighting men. This is Nippon Nancy again, bringing you some of the latest record releases to help soothe your lonely hours. Take heart, you boys, all over the South Pacific. It will all be over soon. Enjoy the time you have left. Relax. Especially you, Captain Binghamton. A man whose blood pressure is 174 should learn to take things easier. Oh, you're right, my dear. I've got... <laughs> I see all my blood pressure. That's it exactly, Captain. It's 174. No, no, Captain. Calm yourself. Oh, you shut up. You think you're funny, you gives a gossip monger, you? I tell you, Carpenter, you're lucky you're just a lieutenant. Believe me, you don't have the whole Japanese empire after you. They think they can wear me down, Carpenter, because if they do, then Taratupa would go. And if Taratupa goes, the whole South Pacific could go. Hello! Oh, hello, Admiral. <laughs> to what do I owe the pleasure of this call, sir? Never mind the soft soap, Binghamton. What the devil's going on at your place? How do the Japanese know so much about your blasted insides? Well, I, I don't know, sir. We're, we're working on that. Yes, sir, would you? A tight ship. Yes, sir. Get the lead out of my... Yes, sir. Okay, goodbye, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh... Uh... Is it that bad, sir? Mm. Where could she have found out about your blood pressure? Of course. I told Mikhail yesterday and today that Oriental Matahari, she's broadcasting it to the world. Oh, surely, sir, you don't think that Commander Mikhail... I Mikhaili don't think he's a traitor? No, I know he's a traitor. <laughs> Mixed up in this somewhere, someplace, somehow, but how am I going to get the evidence? Sir. Perhaps you could ask G2 for a counter-espionage agent. Oh, that wouldn't do any good. Mikhail would be suspicious of a newcomer. It's got to be somebody that's already on his island. And I think I've got just the man. <laughs> Parker, I am going to give you an opportunity that history affords to very few. You read me? Uh, loud and clear, sir. <laughs> I am going to give you the opportunity of choosing between the possibility of receiving a citation or facing a firing squad. Now, which do you prefer? Well, well any nitwit knows the answer to that, sir. Uh-huh. Well, I'm not talking to just any nitwit. I'm talking to you. Now, what'll it be? You want to be a live hero or a dead ensign? Well, uh, well a live hero, sir. You sure? Oh, I'm positive, sir. Uh, you see, I told my mother to be home right after the war. Oh, how nice, sir. Now, if you ever want to see your mother again, you're going to follow orders. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. I'm assigning you as G2, counter-espionage. From now on, you are my counter-spy on Mikhail's base. Mikhail. You want me to spy on Commander Mikhail? Oh, gee, sir. Oh, gee, sir, my Aunt Tilly. Somebody in this area is playing footsie with the Japanese. I'm sure it couldn't be Commander Mikhail, sir. You see, he's a staunch patriot. A oh, staunch patriot, my eye. He's been living on these islands so long that by now he could be worshipping volcanoes. <laughs> Besides, Parker, 
He hates me. You know that's true, don't you? Hates me, huh? <clears throat> well, if you want my opinion. I don't want your opinion. I want your cooperation. I just want to know where you stand, Parker. Do you stand with Mikado Mikhail and his Japanese buddies? Or do you stand with me and the United States of America? <laughs> well, sir, I am an officer of the United States Navy, but... Good. You had me fooled there for a while. <laughs> All right, Parker, from now on, you are counter-espionage, and Mikhail is a traitor. Now, that's your assignment. You get the evidence, get out there and dig, and that's an order. Uh, but, sir... Don't you but, sir, me, Parker. You better come through this time, because if you foul up... Boom, boom. <laughs> Uh, yes, sir. Boom, boom. Something I can do for you, mister? Oh. Hi, Skip. Chuck, what are you doing here? Uh, what am I doing here? What am I? What? Oh, I, I just came over to use your mirror, Skip. Uh, hey, hey what's with the civvies? Boy, when you relax, you really go the whole route, huh? Yeah, well, you know. Oh, hey. yeah. Ah, ha, ha. So that's it, huh? Um, that's what? You rascal, you were sneaking in here to take a look at Miss Wild Rice, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, I just thought... <laughs> Miss who? Miyoshi Yakamuri, Miss Wild Rice of 1938. Says so right there. It, it, it's Beautiful, huh? <laughs> says that, huh? Uh, <laughs> you, uh, you read Japanese, Skip? Well, yeah, my, my ship used to put in po Yokohama every so often, and... Uh... Hey, what's going on here, Chuck? Going on where? Come on, come on, boy. Speak up, speak up. Hey, what's that around your middle? Nothing. That's stuck on your gut! <laughs> what are you doing with an automatic in your belt? Well, well, it was... What happened? I heard something. What's what happened? Who's doing all that shit? Oh, that's a mess. Oh, I'll let you guys. All right, Chuck, what's this all about? Oh. Don't you think you better start talking? Well, Skip, he made me do it. He gave me an order. Binghamton gave me a direct order. A direct order to do what? I'm a counter-espionage spy. <laughs> counter-espionage? You mean you're spying on us? Spying on us? What's wrong? How do you like that? A company man. All right, all right, quiet down. I know you guys got work to do, so why don't you go ahead and do it? Come on, shove off. Spying on us? I was only doing my job, you guys. No offense. No offense? You'll hear from my attorney in the morning. <laughs> Uh, who, sir? 
McHale. He's a heavy set fellow. He's a lieutenant. Oh, McHale. <laughs> You're supposed to follow. Uh, yes, sir. Well, um, <clears throat> I'm not quite sure, sir. Sure, Parker, as an espionage agent, you'd make a good chicken flicker. <laughs> well, you see, what happened was, I don't care what happened. Just tell me where he is the last time you saw him, and that's an order. Uh, yes, sir. Well, um, he was headed into the jungle. Ah, uh -huh. the jungle, huh? Did it ever occur to you that he might be going into the jungle to have a rendezvous? With a submarine, maybe. Uh, no. Uh, I'll tell you why, sir. Say that. I'm going to tell you why. Now we're going to go and find him. You come with me. And meet me in the bushes. In the... In the... Bu <laughs> Shh. Nitwit. <laughs> you know, to be perfectly frank... You keep your voice down. Keep moving. Keep moving. See something? Uh, no, sir. I, I I thought I saw something, but I guess it's nobody, sir. Nobody. Well, let me have a look. Uh, no, I, I couldn't do that, sir. No, Why sir. not? Get that thing out of my face. What's the matter with you? Oh, oh, well, sir, uh, one of the boys has been swimming, and he doesn't have any clothes on. Parker, I can take it. After all, this is war, you know. Now get this oh, thing out of my face. <laughs> ah, there's Mikhail on the beach. He's talking to a Japanese. You see that? He a Japanese? I hear the man. He's talking to a Japanese. Uh, what man, sir? Parker, have you been hitting the hair tonic? Oh, no, sir. No, sir. I wouldn't do that. Shh. Of course not. Look how buddy-buddy they are. How buddy-buddy who is, sir? Parker, are you trying to make me think I've lost my marbles? Well, sir, uh, you know you have been working kind of hard lately. Now, I so feel that's that... it. So that's it. You've gone over to the enemy, have you? Huh? Hanson, you stand right there and don't you move. Don't you move. But you move. Hey, Skip. Condition red. Condition red. Hey, Chuck, what are you doing here? I was here with Captain Binghamton. He made me come, Skip, and he saw you and Fuji talking together. What? Holy Hannah. You can't say that again. Okay? I tried to convince him he was having hallucinations, Skip, but I don't think he bought it. Well, where is he now? Went back to Mainside. Hey, what were you and Fuji No, no, never mind, never mind. We haven't got time for that now. We're in enough trouble as it is. Come on, let's get going. Come on, let's go. go. Sir, Admiral Reynolds has been trying to reach you for an hour. Never mind that, Carpenter. Get me the officer of the deck. Tell him to fall out the guard. Pull the arm. You're ready to shove off in five minutes. But, sir, the Admiral's flying in. He says he wants to speak to you, and it's urgent. I can't help that, Carpenter. I can't wait. This is condition red, man. Condition red. If the Admiral wants me, I'll be over at McHale's Island. Breaking up a spy ring. <laughs> Why can't I just hide in the hills? No, no, not this time, boy. Binghamton's gonna go over this island with a vacuum cleaner. And have you ever found you here? Hey, Skip, Skip, it's Binghamton with a boatload of Marines. Oh, get out of here, food. Get out of here. Come on, you guys, stash this canoe, quick. Hurry up, hurry up. Man, food, get out of here. Mikhail, you stand right where you are. You and your entire command are under arrest. Surround them. Surround them. Look casual. Look casual. <laughs> Boy, it sure is a beautiful day, isn't it? <laughs> may I ask, sir, what all this fuss is about? <laughs> oh, yes, you may ask, and I'll be delighted to tell you. Huh? You're all gonna have your neck stretched for high trees, and that's what all this fuss is about. Oh, and now, just a second there, Captain. Now... Oh, just a second there, ex-commander. <laughs> Captain, now, uh, why don't we go to my hut and talk oh, things over? no, you don't, your hut. You men search this island. There still may be a Japanese espionage agent around, huh? And he's no hallucination, is he, Mr. Parker? Uh, uh, well, sir, uh... I didn't sneeze, you dummy. It's my sinuses kicking back on me, sir. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, sir. I take back that gesundheit. Oh, knock it off. Huh? I could have sworn that that sneeze kicked. Carpenter, what are you doing here? I don't need any help. I've got this whole bunch of traitors all rounded up all by myself. And I expect to have their Japanese agent in custody pretty soon, too. What's the matter with you? Something bothering you? Yes, sir. 
Well, what is it? What, 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 what? Captain Binghamton, sir. Yes. You're under arrest. Oh, <laughs> good, good. I knew you'd be glad to hear that I said, I'm on. What's the matter with you? I mean, you've been drinking? Well, I did have a cup of drinking, sir. No, sir, not me, sir. I'm sorry, sir, but these are direct orders from Admiral Reynolds. He called on the scramble phone, sir. The, the ab Why would the Admiral want to arrest me? Well, I'm terribly sorry, sir, but the charge is... Suspicion of espionage. <laughs> I'm not the spy. He's the spy. The, the admiral must be out of his skull or something. Yes, I'm sure he is, sir. I'm sure you're right. And he's coming here by plane. You can tell him yourself, sir. <laughs> Captain Binghamton, sir, you've always been so kind-hearted and understanding. I'm sure you'll understand this. Take him away. Take him away? Take your hands off me. What's the matter you This is outrageous, Captain. Why would the admiral? I'm not a spy. They're the spies. I said, get out of the boat. This is my boat. What is this? Well, Commander McHale, you'd better come along, too. The admiral wants you there for the inquiry. Well, I don't get it, Copy. What's this all about? Well, a Japanese espionage ring has just been broken in San Diego. They were working out of a Chinese restaurant. The FBI's been watching that restaurant for months. And Captain Binghamton's wife is one of the best customers in the restaurant. <laughs> no, his wife? His wife. Intelligence thinks that information may have been passed back and forth in fortune cookies. <laughs> fortune cookies? Nasty business, Commander. Nasty, nasty business. Imagine in fortune cookies. Nasty business. Nasty. <laughs> As you were. Capital, this is the most outrageous thing that's ever happened to me. I have served my country well and faithfully, and to think that I should be accused of espionage while we're going to Binghamton, calm down. I've just received a report from San Diego which clears you of all charge of espionage. Oh, well, naturally, naturally. Now, you tell him about your little meeting with the enemy agent. Go on, tell him. Tell him, tell him. Ooh, ooh, me, sir? Yes, you, sir. Come on now, Binghamton. You're not accusing Mikhail of treason, are you? Well, I certainly am. If the Japanese aren't getting their information from him, who are they getting it from? Your wife. Uh, see, I... Pumpkin? His pumpkin? I mean, his wife? These were just flown into me. They're photostats of your letters to Mrs. Binghamton. Well, where did you get those, Admirals? A man's letters to his wife are highly personal. Well, you can see that's personal. I wouldn't want any part of you going. Not when they furnish Nippon Nancy with propaganda for her broadcasts. Well, Nippon Nancy, what has she got to do with this? You've been writing her material for her. It's all here. Listen. Quote. My indigestion is worse than ever, end quote. Here's another one. Quote, you wouldn't believe it, Pumpkin, but my blood pressure has shot up to 174, end quote. Well, don't go away, there's one more. I'm beginning to suspect that Mikhail and his men are planning mutiny. Believe me, they're out to get your teddy bear, end quote. Well, I, I, I still don't see how Nippon Nancy could be. It's obvious. Whenever your wife dined at that San Diego restaurant, she blabbed about you and your problems. And those Japanese spies picked up on it and... Oh, that wife of mine in a big mouth. Well, I've wasted enough time around here already. Goodbye, hey, Mikhail. Bye-bye, sir. Bye. Oh, so long, teddy bear. <laughs> Mikhail. Sir? Wait a minute. Yes, sir. Mikhail, I'm tired. My nerves are shot. I don't want to play any more games. <laughs> Would you give me a straight answer? Just for once, please. Oh, I'd be happy to, sir. Now, were you or were you not on that beach this afternoon? <laughs> well, yeah. Yes, sir. Now, the Sunday school truth now. Were you or were you not alone? Are you sure you want me to answer that, sir? No. No, we'll just forget it. Bye-bye, sir. Oh, yep, 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 yep. I could just scream.